Welcome everyone to the Moldex 3D webinar featuring the foam injection molding module. So to get things started, let me explain how, uh, how the chemical foaming um, module is split <clears throat> or how the chemical foaming processing is split. So um, thermoplastics and thermosets have their own sorts of uh, processing phenomenon that, that occur. So with the thermoplastics, we use a physical or a PBA, physical blowing agent PBA. We call that microcellular injection molding, um, and it's pretty pretty traditional through through the uh, through the foaming sort of processing. Another sort of process we can use is an exothermic CBA or an endothermic CBA. CBA standing for chemical blowing agent. So rather than a physical blowing agent, which would be like a gas, which would just uh, uh, diffuse into the, the liquid state, a CBA will tend to react directly with the chemical to produce a, a sort of gas like a nitrogen or a carbon dioxide. Both of these work the same way in that they will uh, nucleate cells and the cell growth will be uh, more or less uh, using the same phenomenon. For thermosets, we can also use a physical uh, PBA. That would also be uh, kind of grouped under the mu cell or, or foam injecting injection molding module. It's not until we start to use a CBA um, with thermosets and, and really the only one that, that we, that we um, that is characterized under this category is polyurethane and water, um, which is actually uh, what the foaming module or chemical foaming module is uh, including in R15. So R15, the chemical foaming module is actually uh, brand new. So just an overview of the, uh, of the foaming process. So uh, why do we use this? Uh, traditionally in, in, in the industry, a lot of the uh, larger automotive companies are moving towards this foam injection molding uh, process in order to lightweight uh, their parts. And it all, the, this process also gives uh, very high strength.